Okay, ladies and gents, what we're going to do is have a little look at how you can build your very own power quality analyzer. So, in this case, this is my instrument, as you can see. So, plug on the end, standard three pin plug connected to this, which is a encapsulated toroidal transformer. In this case, it's uh, 225 VAs, 18 volts. Got the winding, got the secondary windings here. These then go to a voltage divider, fairly straightforward. A voltage divider with a 100 to 1 ratio, giving um, an output of about 200 millivolts. There are a couple of capacitors there just to act as a low-pass filter, but in fact they do absolutely nothing. I think they're far too small. I think they're 63 nanofarads. Complete waste of time. Simple board there. It's been recycled a couple of times, so there are a few extra connections, but really it's basically just two resistors, or in this case four resistors, because each resistor is actually two in parallel. Again, that's really just for experimentation purposes rather than functional purposes. And this is then connected to a simple jack, in this case 3.5 millimeter jack. So we uh, put our little circuit board away. Um, there's a lid here, put the lid on, and then this can then be plugged into the line input on some sort of PC. In this case we're going to use our desktop PC and I'm going to be using the uh, line input on my Sound Blaster XFi card. Um, this is really just for convenience purposes. Um, the XFi is actually not very good for recording. So, uh, it causes quite a few artifacts, but I've got the system set up for that. So we're just going to bring the whole lot down here. And we're going to hook it up. Oh dear, things fallen right apart. Never mind. Back in there. This then plugs in round back here. Right. Then this plugs in here. Good. So we're all set. And uh, I've just got a little bit of uh, software here that I knocked up. Fairly basic stuff. We'll take a little look at that in a minute. And we'll just start up. Off it goes. Uh, it's running. Select line in XFi. Go. Boom. And it's running. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the software. As you can see, it's written in C sharp, fairly straightforward sort of stuff. In this case, this is the procedure that isolates frequency. Quick now looking at the uh, data display code. Um, vector scope and just the uh, software there, a little bit of information about the signal processing there. In this case it's used for smoothing the uh, data in the displays when looking at a compressed time base, a bit of data capture code there. So C sharp, fairly straightforward sort of stuff. So let's see it in action. Running, select line in XFi, that's the capture source, and off it goes. So you see the voltage display in the top left, frequency top right, and you get a scrolling display and you can select whether you want vector scope, harmonics, voltage, frequency, spectrum, flicker, and this uh, will come to later, and uh, the, the voltage waveform that you can zoom in fairly straightforwardly. As you can see, it's looking quite clean for uh, this location. There are a few little other sort of stray boxes on there, something called Checkbox 2, who which, whose sole purpose is purely to uh, test uh, the crashability of the software. As you can see, the, the panels can be scrolled, zoomed, uh, magnified, and so on. There you've got a display of the harmonics and their phase in textual format. Okay, so here we go. This is just a time-lapse uh, review of the software running. You can see the display scrolls. You can see the odd spike from presumably inductive kick from induct uh, refrigeration equipment, air conditioning, God only knows what. Harmonic display, 
again speed it up about 30 times you can see lots of harmonics this is the vector scope display spectrum display and the waveform display again speed it up lots of commutation notches there now I said last time that uh, we'd have a quick look at what happens during the working week. Well, here we go. This is a 24-hour recording of the waveform, starting from about 4 in the morning. So but we've probably got to about 8 o'clock now. You can see lots of computation notches starting to appear. Oh, there's, there's a nice big one there. Lots of high-frequency noise. This measures out at about 33 kilohertz. So I've got no idea what the source of that high frequency noise there is. Oh, lots and lots of notches there. As you can see it's looking a complete disaster area now. You know, voltage sagging as well, down from a nominal 240 down to about 229. Obviously getting towards peak time and now of course it's clearing up because we're getting down to sort of midnight. And This is the same data played back but on the vector scope display and you can see the harmonics jumping around, a lot of noise, a lot of instability, particularly around 8 to 9 o'clock when you've got all the trains running, businesses starting to open, looks very, very ugly. It calms down slightly during the working day um, and then deteriorates again in the uh, early evening. So if you just watch, you should see some sort of deterioration. Interestingly, out of all these, it's, it's the red one, which is uh, the third harmonic, which actually remains the most consistent and, and, and demonstrates the least noise. And presumably, that's because the bulk of the noise comes from three-phase equipment, which, by its nature, tends not to produce much in the way of third harmonic. Well, that's all, folks. I hope you found that interesting.